Yo, what is good, ladies and gentlemen? Creole here, and today I'm bringing you day one of some really good settings to try out in Black Ops. So you get the best start you can in this game. Uh, we're going to go through a lot of stuff in this video right now. All right, so we're going to start with the controller settings. Uh, nice and simple. Of course, I'm a control player. I don't really have much keyboard and mouse experience, so I can't help you with that. For your button layout, of course, do whatever you just want. I use, play, I use default flip. You can flip it on this tab here if you want to. Stick layout also default. It is what it is. Horizontal and vertical stick sensitivity. Okay, play at six it. You want to be in a range between five and eight uh, for both your vertical and horizontal uh, stick seven sensitivities. Uh, there's no there's no reason to go higher than that you can get some flash clips if you go higher but it's going to affect your centering and your aim there's a reason why all pros play on between that range and it's because it's the most optimal for movement whilst also being your aim and accuracy as good as possible you can as well lower your sense multiplier for it as well so let's say you like 6-6 six, six, but when you're in on site you're a little bit wonky on your shot all you got to do is come into the next tab on the aim and press to show more and the yes, sense multiplier you can adjust it as you want to right there other than that everything else here is off of course swap l1 and l2 is on vibration off no point really have now unless you like your vibration there's an input down to your controller what other guys doing bring your left and right trigger all the way down to zero there's no point having dead zones on these your right stick max at 99 you can lower your left stick max if you want it makes the controller feel a little bit more responsive as it doesn't take as much input to reach the max for your left stick min right stick min it's down to your controller to be honest with you so i would always advise to try and keep your left stick min as low as possible it just helps keep your rotational aim assist fully active i would always advise between zero and two on the left stick the right stick anywhere between zero and five to six is ideal if you happen to go all the way up here with your dead zones let's say you need right stick minimum at 15 to stop you getting any stick drift probably time to get a new controller and into that point until you do get a new controller personally i'll just say suck it up and keep the stick drift because you don't want this going too high again six is probably the highest i'd suggest going on that uh, the lower you can get it though the better these are all basic make sure obviously your aim assist is on uh, there's nothing really to change in this point except your response curve so when you come to the aim and tab go to aim and advanced settings aim and response curve and i would always suggest putting this on dynamic this is what all the pros use this is what the top players use it just work. works the best okay now for the actual movement so you want to put the sprint assist on tactical sprint assist then you want to click your square or x button to show more make sure the assist delay is on zero make sure both of these are switched on mantle assist it's going to be preference based i suggest doing the low mantle assist as it does help when you're running about and you, you can mantle obstacles much quicker than having it off however sometimes you might mantle when you don't want to Just try them both see which one's your preference low mantle assist though in a game with this movement probably going to be more beneficial couch assist you don't need corner slice personal preference doesn't it doesn't affect anything it just affects the visual angle you gun let gun is on slide dive behavior you're going to want this on hybrid you want to have the ability to slide and dive in this game so if you're not used to it you're gonna have to unfortunately get used to it and you will have a lot of times where you dive when you don't mean to it's just something you're gonna have to get reps in and eventually you'll get the hang of it always suggest practicing and private match for this automatic airborne mantle keep this on partial same as the, uh, the mantle assist above you might mantle when you don't really mean to on certain nice on certain objects but it's just it makes your movement much more fluid sprint restore keep that on slide maintain sprint personal preference slide maintain sprint all this means is when you sprint you don't have to cancel to cancel it if you don't want to let's say you you're doing a slide cancel but you mess up as long as you're pushing forward for your your tax sprint you're going to be able to do it again without getting a dead slide but it's personal preference with this as well i'd have to suggest you try both out see which one works best for you have a shoot auto baby a free fall mantle cancels reload on movement advanced settings on this there's not really much to change here uh ground mantle if this is off i would suggest putting that on and there's nothing to change in the vehicle and on settings either armor play behavior apply all in any game modes where there's armor it's mainly for warzone i'm just going to scroll through these because they're not really much for me to touch on here these are all default i would suggest having manual fire behavior on press unless you have issues off rights etc here's the combat advanced settings okay now let's come to combat advanced settings but this is prioritized in Sarah. Uh, this is basically the setting you'd have for warzone however it's default to tap to reload in your first load game or for whatever reason just make sure it's changed in there as well so let's say i can reload here but i can also open a door that was the tap it's going to open the door 
about just the whole just going to reload instead and that is it for the combat controls let's go for graphic display mode you want to be on full screen exclusive i'm on board list just for the video sake make sure these are all set correctly camera and brightness up to you mine's at 56 if you want it the video reflex low latency mine's on yours might need to be on plus boost depends if your gpu bound or cpu bound the way to test out is to run a benchmark i can't do it because i'm in a private match but as you can see there there's a benchmark option uh, whichever number is highest on the response time so let's say your gpu was five milliseconds your cpu was 10 milliseconds that would tell you your cpu bound or gpu bound so that's something specific to your own system eco mode custom decent off these are all default quality make sure this is on 100 dynamic res i've got off upscaling fidelity cast at 90 when you come and hover over your upscaling sharpness press uh, square again and it will show more and you'll see some options on there these are all like the dlss though which is irrelevant to us it's the bottom one for us fidelity cast none of these other ones matter the round target scale is going to be down to your system uh, you want it as high as possible without any stutters basically so let's say i was on 90 well let's say i'm on 80 now if i was playing the game and i was constantly stuttering i would then drop it to 70 play again so on and so on drop it down until the stuttering stopped variable rate shading really up to you having it on you have more frames but there's going to be some graphical reductions in quality so i'm not going to tell you to go low 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 max frame rate low 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 because yes having everything on low is going to help your frames however there's going to be a balance between having as many much frames as possible but also having a nice looking game texture res doesn't hurt your frames as much so i have that on normal texture filter anastropic i always have this on normal as well it just helps on slope surfaces makes your game look nicer depth of field up off depth quality low particle res this will affect your frames a little bit more than the texture res i would suggest however having it on normal the reason being is when you have texture graphical textures in games such as fermite it improves your physical visible clarity so even, especially in the like dark areas if there's explosions or fire going off etc from like like so the fermite full impact i have off you can put this on persistent effects i have off as well shade quality low on the man texture stream and make sure that's on optimized local texture streaming on low shadow quality on low screen i think all these now are lower off yeah they are uh fov 120 to ads field of view affected put your guns on wide just makes them further away from your screen it just clears up any clutter on your screen basically motion blurs have them both off first person camera movements put these on least as well this is especially going to help if you have the motion uh, sickness and then inverted flashbang i just put it on it just means your screen goes black if you get flashbang instead of going bright white as i'm sure some of you know there's enhanced headphone mode in this game I'm not an audio file so if it helps or not i can't give you a definitive answer as of yet the game volume i've got 60 26 for the dialogue and 100 for the effects i'm also using the home theater mix tonight the sound i put this on if you want to it's just gonna help more with audio clarity because there's not as much high pitch ring and noises i'm just gonna scroll through these you can pause if you want to again i'll just scroll through these Color customization is my colors. Uh, you want to put your color filter on filter two, both, and then max them at 100. It just makes the game more colorful. Here's some fun stuff we'll, we can look at now. Just HUD customizability in this game. What I'm about to suggest isn't going to be for everyone. However, it's and I would suggest playing around with and trying to get used to. And it's the ability to move your mini map. So of course, normally your mini map's in your top left. However, we've got now the ability to move it. We can have it bottom left, bottom middle, as I've got here etc etc uh so i would suggest playing around with these especially there's two on here that are very interesting those are scouts as you can see there and target tracker i will touch on now to make it look more like mine because target tracker will not look like this when you first put it on i would suggest trying these two out though as well the reason being is there's just less travel time between you know you get your eyes looking at your center of your screen when you're looking at your mini map or let's say you want to look how much ammo you've got left or in warzone you'd be looking how much plates you got left you look down at your screen instead of up to the top left so it just means you can also look down towards your mini map to you look, just look straight down it's as simple as that it takes less time it's right next to all the other stuff you'd be looking at in a game so basically what you want to do is let's see this is what's going to look like when you first put it on looks kind of poo target tracker however you can then adjust this so you can put like you can make it square you can turn the radar off the scale up 
I had the scale on mine. It's going to be up to you what you want. Mine was on 120. As you can see here, it doesn't always change the settings initially though. So you just got to fiddle around with it. And eventually it will save. Let me just back off and go back on. Okay, there we go. And then you can change the icon size as well. I just up mine a little bit to 105. And then if you want to change any others on there as well, you can. And here's my colors for the minimap. This is basically what you saw before. And again, yeah, this just means instead of looking at to the top left, I just look straight down now. And it's just a little bit easier. It's going to take some time getting used to, but I kind of like it. I would suggest giving it a go yourself. Again, the ones I would suggest giving a go, it was me personally, it's target tracker with the adjustments I made. Or scout. And again, you can make it square, etc. with the adjustments. So that is it for the settings video. I hope this helps you get a good grasp when you first load into the game so you get a good baseline of course you might not like all the settings or you might want to tailor it to your needs the point is it's a nice baseline for you to work off from there hope you enjoyed the video if you liked the video leave a like if you didn't leave a dislike catch you next time peace out